what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob i'm bryce and i'm zaf and today we are back with season four episode two of you this one is called portrait of the artist in the first episode they introduced us to a whole lot of new characters brand new setting we are in london joe is now jonathan moore he's a professor at a college it looks like and he has now been introduced to like this whole new group of friends that are all very big figureheads and like influencers in this social media i guess but yeah it, it was cool to see joe in like this new setting uh he seems to be trying to be a normal person he wants to prove marianne wrong and and prove to her that he's not a murderer which i don't know how you do that but i mean that's what he wants to do so he's living this new and honest life as professor jonathan moore uh, we actually got met Malcolm, big, big, big guy we didn't like, uh, and he's dead. He's, he was murdered in Joe's apartment, really nice apartment. Crazy how he got that place, uh, I like it a lot. But that guy had a knife through his, uh, his heart it looked like, and he is dead, chopped up in a river, he's gone out of the show. And it wasn't Joe who did it, there's someone messaging him on an app that deletes the messages right as they're sent. So, who could it be? It's in the friend group. He's in the dinner right now. He's evaluating. And I'm excited to see what goes on. Yeah, and also we learned that uh, recently Joe's like being hunted down by someone that was affiliated with the Quinn family. Probably just like a hitman or something. And luckily that guy seemed like he wanted to retire here. Yeah, so he didn't want to kill kinda, people anymore. And I extorted Joe for the money he took from Love's account. And... But he had to kill Marianne though, so he he faked that. Um, that might come to bite him in the butt later, like because she's just obviously very well and alive, and has she knows no, she knows that he's alive. Too. Yeah, she could easily say he's alive to someone. But yeah, he got his new identity, new friend group, like like they said, and yeah, I just I think this the whole time we're just gonna be like getting messages, trying to like mm -hmm. figure out maybe like he's gonna be getting blackmailed. Like if you don't do this, I'll I'll tell them. What you did and all this stuff so i think he's gonna be getting played like how he, he's played people before which is gonna be really interesting um he's pretty like dead set on it being someone in the friend group maybe it's not it could be someone else for all we know he completely blacked out that night so maybe i mean it, i think it'd be interesting if it was someone in the friend group just like because some they have such big personalities those people mm -hmm. so and it's I, I think we should all take one guess right now okay who would, who would, like, just one guess so we can reflect back yeah. on it and look. I agree with that, but I also wanted to say that I don't think... It's hard to, like, talk about all the characters because we sort of just... Yeah. Uh, right. Screen through all of them. So there, We were quickly introduced yeah. to them. I feel like we'll do more talking the more we get to know them. Off of first impression, though, I don't know. I really did like the, the author guy, but you guys kind of made me sus of him at the end of the last episode when we were talking about how he's too good to be true, so... Just early first impression prediction. I think he might be the killer. And I was going through last episodes thinking it was not Kate, but now I think it's Kate. But I wouldn't mind if it was Kate. I would like if she murdered him. He falls for another murderous girl. I mean, this type. Let's see what happens. I know he's going to make love to Kate here soon, so. I'm going to just throw out a different one. I think it could be. I know Rob, you said you don't think it's him, but the Adam guy, the crypto kid. The only reason I said it is because, like... His coat. Well, first off, yeah, his coat was there. Second off, his girlfriend's obsessed with Joe. So, like, yeah, putting him through something could be a possibility. Because he's competition. If it ends up being the crypto kid and I said that I fully believe that it's not him in the first episode, I'm going to be really upset. You're going to have to take, a, you take <laughs> that's your gonna leave. Be, that's going to be the L. You're going to have right. to take your leave. And also, obviously, like most of them, he's extremely rich and probably yeah. knows how to, like do stuff like that and, and get away with it because i don't know but yeah i'll say him and he's the only actor that i know besides and badge yeah. us, so that's why i say him but knowing us after like you know the knives out reaction and stuff like that we're really bad at picking a killer so it's true <laughs> probably gonna be wrong but also like like i said like we don't know anything about like blessing or like the the artist guy like the yeah we don't Simon know we don't know anyone yet so Rip Malcolm. 
favorite mod. <laughs> all right, guys, so that is pretty much it before we do get into the episode. If you have been liking all the you reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got the Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias down there, as well as the address to our PO box. So send us something to be open up on camera, like everything you see behind us right now. And with all that being said, guys, we're gonna get right into the episode. You, season four, episode two, Portrait of the Artist. Let's go. One of you fuckers. <laughs> yeah, bro. Fuckers. One of you is watching me. Is that? No one that you know. Alfred? Unfortunately, that may be very interesting. I think my least favorite one of them might be the guy that said, I have too many friends, come <laughs> back when one of them dies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hmm? Uh, Jonathan was saying your story is riveting, but it's hard what? to What? Did he say that? Oh. What was that weird hostility, bro? What the fuck? Was he in the middle of a story or yeah, something? Yeah, I guess so. And I will. You steal my spotlight. And I murder you. <laughs> <laughs> to Simon, to the greatest artist thing ever, this night's for you. Is that guy never gonna smile? <laughs> he looks mean. <laughs> He's the son of a billionaire. Well, now I just don't think it's him. Because the first suspect. I just want my little European holiday back. Yo, you got mixed up with the wrong crowd. How'd we end up here? Remember Beck? She was a nice girl. Actually, no. She cheated on him with John Stamos. So I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Is requested at a night to die for. What? A circle of privileged suspects, a frame job, and now a cryptic invite evoking a British murder mystery. Shit. I'm in a who done it. Literally. This is the, the <laughs> knives out season of you. Literally. I'm in a who done it. I love who done it. I just checked your office. You're not here. I'm slammed with prep for opening night, Mal. Can you text me back? I could use some actual help here. She sounds earnestly pissed at the dead guy. Unless she's the smartest she person ever. She, it's not her. Yeah, I, I don't think it's her. Who knows, though? Show can trick us. I reacquaint myself with my least favorite genre. Mooney loved whodunits. I always thought they were word search puzzles for adults. Circle the clues, win a game, not exactly art. Oh, okay. Nadia. that your problem is that mysteries are entertaining. Why would that be a problem for me? Because he doesn't have to be entertaining. I like this girl. Six minutes. Russia. You can also find me. I'm walking a pack of spoiled dogs around Hyde Park most weekdays. Nadia, when do you sleep? Sleep to the rich. Okay, so here's the whole game, Agatha. Number one, there are no coincidences. All revenge. And three, the first suspect is usually the victim dead enough to plan it and then an act with violent fashion. Is Nadia just going to be our sidekick and help us figure out well, this mystery? Chef kiss. So, that's the bus. Honestly, Joe seems like the sidekick right now. See ya. Thank you, Nadia. There are no coincidences. Joe Glenn Goldberg. Elliot, you son of a bitch. Convenient that a Quinn family fixer just happened to drop me in the middle of a murder mystery. It's true, it could be Elliot too. If you realize that Marianne wasn't dead, I don't know. Nobody agreed you'd never call this number again. It was before <laughs> you set me up. Come again? With texts. Malcolm. I can't tell you what a relief it is to have no idea what you're talking about. You should try meditation. It is working. Not him. Sounds like you are, though. Sorry, you <laughs> fucked up your new life already, but I am now officially and literally above all that. Hello again. Oh, okay. Shit, it's you. Who the hell is this, bro? Oh, they oh. see him right now. They see Could him be right now. By nature, you're a fucking stalker wherever you are. Absolutely not a real professor. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. I mean, Elliot just saw his jacket. Absolutely not a real professor. I think it's the... That, that makes me th feel like Nadia. it's a student. Yeah. Could be. I'll figure you out soon enough. I can't let you do that. 
So I have to figure you out. So first. this person hasn't figured Joe out completely mm -hmm. yet. Wow, I feel like you've picked the wrong person to. It's Nadia. To fuck with whoever this stranger is. Nadia is all about the mystery. It's her big night. We can't have any random beardo showing up in some diffusion lines. Ouch. Damn, there. wow. You gotta dress but better, yeah. Joe. You take Phoebe Jonathan. Orphan to the gallery? Well, the person texting him said that Brown's his color. Maybe it's not one of these two. Brown, don't argue. It's Phoebe's world. We're all just living in it. Oh my gosh, is who is this? It's gonna drive me nuts. At least capitalism is going swimmingly for everyone. Not there, no, stop, stop, stop. We're we're overhung, so move it to the south wall, let it breathe. This is what she does for work. Seems like she's the only one in her circle that actually works. Right down there on the right. What does she do for work? She like works at the school, right? She does this too? Oh, oh no. no. You know, I was just talking to Malcolm about yeah. rain through the front boy window. Oh, it's like piss in his mouth. <laughs> Bro. Not a fan of Malcolm. Oh, we don't think about him at all. Were you just talking to Malcolm? I'm pretty sure he's dead. You went oh. to Betty Horses, Professor? Enough about Malcolm. Did they call him a big dick prick? <laughs> I said fatty dick. Any reader? <clears throat> um, Phoebe invited Jonathan. I see where I'll cremate your dick, but genuinely, congratulations. <laughs> that jacket makes you look like a waiter. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Good talk. There's some tension there. I need to know more about Malcolm. Kate seems like the type to have... Is he just in her apartment right now? Let's seems that way. He's too lazy to update. Booze, nothing new there. Sex. Money. Revenge. Seems like they all have a problem with him, so maybe revenge. Ooh. Oh my. My detective fee. <laughs> He's Joe. Nice, that's me. Silver wand, Surrey hope. Okay, I'm. Those are uh, horses. Right. Yeah. He had family money, but if he gambled enough, maybe. He owed a lot of people money. Thursdays, 3 p.m. Docs, I did mention I'm not a fan of puzzles. I just don't think it was the horse race guy. What are you doing? Oh, here she is. That came out weird. Malcolm's girlfriend asked me to check if she left her wallet. We're neighbors and have sex. Oh, that's boring. I thought you were breaking in or something. <laughs> no, sorry to disappoint. Was breaking in. It's not my thing, but I am. I'm still trying not to lose hope. She's stalking him. The most Is she? Surely. A superpower, um, deduction, or knowing science, or whatever. I... Oh my god, your face. I really just helped you, haven't I? <laughs> Nadia's right. I've been doing She's being very hope or helpful. A charming bully working hard to impress a dad that wrote him off years ago. I'm so sorry about him. He wants to open six more. I don't know if he's capable of murder, but I bet he could find guy's getting canned. I kill Malcolm. Adam Pratt as Louis Couture's the son. Sun King, that's the horse name. Was talking about Adam. Yeah. With dagger, it said. Yeah. And like it's like stocks or something too. Now what? He'll just look into it and it'll open. <laughs> oh. 
Touch that door, bro. Oh, he's gonna go yell at this guy for what? Um, yep. I had a feeling. Is he getting pissed on? Yeah, he's getting pissed on. Oh my. Wow, that was insane. Oh my god. Shit, what do I say? I'm a writer. I'm doing research. I'm writing a book. About, about the rich. Oh, that's nice. What kind of book? An expose. Quality. About how they think they're better than us. Yeah, well, that's gonna take about 10 bucket volumes in it. And that got caught his ass. It was blackmailing us to call a gambling debt. They have found you. Oh. No photos, please. Why did she look at I don't know, that was weird. Why would she look at him like that? If she didn't know who he was. Sorry, I'm just I'm trying to avoid the whole scene. Do you mind? Be a doll. <laughs> yeah, sure. 157. That's gonna be a big number, huh? No. I don't. What, what kind of show is this? Like an art show? Yeah. Or is it like a walk or a runway? It's like an art gallery, I okay. think. It's like, like. Video of a dog. Oh, I bet it's some dumb shit. Interesting shit, yeah. Oh god. Wow, it's just a bunch of NFTs. There you are. This is this is really impressive. Thank you for that insightful and specific. <laughs> okay, darling. Back in time. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. This is a triumph here. <laughs> We've seen him before. Yeah. Have we met? Probably at Sundry House. Malcolm brought him the other night. Ah. Uh, well, any friend of Malcolm and Kate. Just Malcolm. Dang. So American, eh? Which coast? Both, kind of. Yes, you look like a California boy. I hate this guy. <laughs> Rolled. Does he look like a California boy? No. I would definitely consider Joe an East Coast guy. And Adam a West Coast guy? Yeah. Man, is that the world record egg on Instagram? Hey, man. Oh, okay. Just, just get some talking. Oh, God. You smell good. You smell like piss. Oh, um, I'm, I'm Molly. Nice. <laughs> cool, dude. Please confess so I can get back to my life. Sounds amazing. Not like... Oh, cone of silence. Malcolm and Kate. <laughs> Mr. Ashton, tell you something. Do not ever let that nosy come rag me your private business. Oh my goodness. The real mean? Adam is out. Don't be wildly British. I don't think it was him. It's never the first person, right? I heard you warning me that he might blackmail me. You know what? You can miss me. I'm going to buy my girlfriend this fucking egg. You, Jonathan. Sir. And then just be a uh, yolk in there, right? Yep. It's an egg. Back to nowhere. <laughs> it's an egg. Simon's main event is called Meta Cat. Is this all Meta Simon's Cat art? Huh. It's kind of lame. <laughs> what do you see, Joe? Eyes? Whose eyes are you reminded of? 
Those are cool eyes. What? Reese, raised poor, a man of people, and yet he's here looking perfectly at home. Crying? Simon. It's a girl that let Joe in. What just happened? Oh my god. Is that the girl that let Joe yeah. in? Yeah. What? Art. Born in a moment of passion, we witnessed together. You decide. <laughs> what a flip there. That girl had a vendetta. Dude, these friends are fucked up. What the fuck? What? What did he do? She called him a gaslighting piece of shit and that he's a thief? Go away. That woman? I saw her. Really? Was it just now when she was ruining my life? I think I know where you can find her. Yep, that's where the numbers come in. Her address. We are not a part of town that sees a lot of the patrons of the arts. We just go to. I mean, what are you gonna do when you find her? No. There. Hmm. What if Kate just straight up murks her? <laughs> I... Can we talk? There's no point running. I'll just ask the manager for your ID. We don't want to bust you. I... <laughs> Why is Joe here? <laughs> Simon's assistant. And I did some more than wash brushes. I paint a fairy camp tree. Mm. Bullshit. He painted that? I wouldn't be here, would I? Simon made sure of that. You did the work, Simon got the credit. Mm-hmm. And the money and the... Well, that's pretty fucked up, huh? Yeah. I'm not the only one. There are other assistants. I mean, they're too doped up or scared to say anything. That's so messed up. So when we got stressed, Really casual. I got them addicted to drugs. Mm -hmm. Calculated move to turn me into a junkie that no one would believe. What's your name? Blue, like the color. That was also on the thing, I think. 3,000 is enough. Damn, she just wrote her a check? That's crazy. You did come to me about Simon. Yeah. It wasn't about that bit, was it? Mm hmm? Trying to expose Simon. That's all I ever really wanted. And then he didn't. Fucked off. Back it, I know. I think it was brave. Maybe Malcolm was a good guy. Taking down all these people. Oh, what if he ended up being the good guy? He was even sad Malcolm never came. He was awful, but you, you are a monster and a killer. I can't wait to be done with you and back to life with people who don't know or care <laughs> what an NFT is. Don't fall asleep, bro. Nope, he's falling asleep. I was gonna die here. Oh god. It's the second victim that did it. What did you want? That's what Nadia said. It's the second victim, so I think that means that Simon might have killed Malcolm, but now there's someone else. 
on getting closer to finding out who you are. Hmm. On a related note, you missed the best part of the night. Oh shit. Okay. What? Forty-five seconds. Before no, I think he said that the the first suspect's always the next victim. That he suspected oh, yeah, yeah, him, yeah. and now right. he's the next victim. Right, right, right. Oh, he did the Van Gogh thing, huh? His ears off. And Joe's the first one to find him again. Was he? <laughs> Looks like he just yeah, walked yeah. into the room. Yeah, but he was outside and... Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Only because sometimes I find that people say that they're writing a book for vanity. You think like, Joe could ever like her? Yeah. You may just call him that. I... <laughs> he was writing a book? Was he? Oh. For some reason, I feel like she may be the person. Yeah, the two I'm most. Or end up dead. The two I'm most sus of right now are her and Reese. Left me hanging. I think he's out sick. Mm. Well, if he's not dead, then he could reply to a text. And makes him feel like. Yeah, but she wouldn't break into it. Joe's apartment and kill Malcolm. No, she's like I never existed. Mm -hmm. Why is she just a student? Wow, Malcolm really was a full speech. Oh no, was she like, I'm sure it's not like that. in a romantic thing with Malcolm? I don't know, that's kind of what it sounded like. Because he did say he had girls. Mm -hmm. Oral. Look, I'm no Malcolm, but I would be happy to read your pages. I should have told I'm a snob, but I'm working on that. Bring me unicorns. Okay. <laughs> um, I've got to go. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm like the freaking Among Us. Yeah, bro. I'm the red. I was just us. about to say I'm the green. The green reactor. He was just starting to be. I'm going to get it back from you. To do that is to figure you out first. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Oh no, they figured him out. Oh god. It's everybody. Oh my goodness. Figure out everything about him. But I did it. Hello, Joe. Oh god. Okay. And that's well. it. Mic drop. From Mr. Conspiracy. Who the fuck can just get into his apartment like this, bro? Someone just has access. Th See, this kind of makes me believe more so that someone was already in his apartment before uh, they got home from the bar when Malcolm died. Because so someone just can just get in whenever sure. they want. Um, That's for sure. So I feel like, yeah, whenever they came home from the bar when it was Joe and Malcolm, I feel like someone was already there waiting for them somehow i'm not sure but i definitely think that malcolm was into some shit that just joe just hasn't figured out yet because in this episode we found out that he was low-key like blackmailing simon or trying to stop simon because he he knew that simon was a fake or whatever um he wanted to expose simon that's the word but yeah i don't know i think malcolm is definitely into some more shit that we haven't found out yet. He he definitely has more enemies that we've yet to discover. I don't think any of the friends seem to like him at all. Mm -mm. But I, I can't tell if he was. A, it seemed like he was trying to stop them from doing bad things. Yeah, he was, he maybe, was also maybe, an ass. Head, yeah, he was also an ass. Maybe he was good. I mean, we Kate's being like a b word or a bitch, if you would, to everybody, but. She's low-key a good person, we saw, because she's trying to help that girl through rehab. Maybe she's just trying to keep a social image, but I don't know. It's really confusing. This is... And then it's just so, like, there's... Everybody's got these deep secrets. Simon's dead. Obviously, he was a bad person. I'm not too sad he died. He was a dick. And that girl's theory was right, Nadia, about the, sec the first... The second person, usually the most, what... The second victim is the f the first suspect mm -hmm. is the, usually the second victim. Yep. Yeah. So Malcolm figured out his secrets. Uh, Malcolm figured out uh, that Adam has a kink where he likes to get peed on, and Joe saw that uh, like for himself. Did he know that? 
I don't know if Malcolm knew that. The only thing he like wrote about his name was that he was like in that. Yeah, maybe Louis or whatever, like the king. I, I I feel a lot safer now again saying that Adam is innocent. I feel like his biggest secret is probably the the, the golden shower. To be honest <laughs> yeah. with you, I, I I feel like there's not a whole lot going on there. But I mean, could be wrong. Oh, the only thing with Kate though was like how they were saying that now that Simon's dead, his whole collection is worth so much more money. And wouldn't she like profit off of that? Yeah. yeah. So. Maybe Kate knows that <laughs> Joe is following her and like doing these like fake calls. Maybe she's that smart. And like, sure. but, like if she did do that, she knows because of the his prior life. So she probably knows she's a, he's a stalker. I, don't I mean, know. whoever whoever it is knows to be careful around him because they know what he's capable of. Maybe that that could be true. Like Kate has made it a point not to like get all buddy buddy with him. Mm -hmm. Like like we're not friends. Like I don't know. I don't know what you're doing here. All that stuff. Yeah. I I'm not like completely sold that the the killer could be Reese or Nadia, but I definitely there's just something else going on with both of them. They both seem like they're just so positive and like. There's nothing wrong with us. We're super cool. I mean, but certainly it couldn't be Nadia though, because he came back home after talking to her. All that shit on the walls, right? True. I'm just gonna go ahead and lock my answer as being Kate. I think it's her. I honestly think Marianne's out of the show. I don't think we're gonna get much of her anymore. I don't know, dude. It's just weird. Like I don't know who would be able to figure out that Joe is Joe. They did it pretty quick. Yeah. Why is Kate always on her? What is like? Remember she looked at. Uh, I think it's gonna be an episode where it throws like all the flashbacks back, and Joe is looking yeah. at Kate across. She, he, why is she always? What could she possibly always be doing? On yeah, she's always working. True. True. Not a bad call. Yeah, I don't know. I still do think it could be something with the author, like Reese. Something about that guy. Is, I like, know. It's. But uh, I hate these where you think it could be anyone. It could literally I love could be them. anyone. I, it could be anybody. I, I really love them. Like it. I'm so confused right now, and I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm just going to be pissed if it's like freaking Phoebe. Blessing or like they, the they, horse race guy. They, yeah. they, they brought up Rold a lot this episode. They did, yeah. He was I, feel an like ass. Could, I feel like we could learn more about Rold in, in the coming episodes for sure. Phoebe's obsessed with Jonathan. He likes him. Would you guys be mad if one of like the people pulled off peeled off their skin and it was love, Quinn? And that's the thing. I also think Kate said to jo I'm just real on in Kate. Kate said to Joe that consider it lucky that uh, Phoebe likes you this much. Maybe that's what's holding her back from pulling the trigger on him. You think? Yeah. But didn't she like Malcolm as well though, and he died? I don't think she liked Malcolm. I thought she did. Phoebe? Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, huh? Because then Adam said a, f a friend of Malcolm's a friend of ours when everyone else was like, fuck Malcolm. Yeah, but they don't like him. They just bear with him. I thought those were like his friends in that group. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. If you have been liking all of our you reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. First one's going to be for our Patreon. We have the full uncut reactions over there, as well as a bunch of early access for you. So check that out. Second link is for our Discord. Come talk to us about you. We're in there all the time. We have a super dope community. So stop by, chat with us. The rest of the links are going to be for all of our social medias. Give us a follow. And at the very bottom, you will see the address to our PO box. Send us something to be opened up on camera for our show mail time, like everything you see behind us right now. And with all that being said, guys, we will see you next time for season four of you episode three peace out